pass me not, O gentle Savior. Hear my humble cry. While on others thou art calling, do not pass me by. Hi, I'm Del Shores. In 2000, I wrote a play called Southern Baptist Sissies, and I thought I wrote it for me, but what I soon found out was I wrote it for a lot of other people too. I think it's important, Southern Baptist Sissies, because uh, as a gay man who came out in the late 60s, I was around in the 70s, the 80s, the 90s, I have seen the tide turn. Uh, we have a sitting U.S. president who is now on the side of the GLBT community, um, but what has not changed and where we will always need work is uh, religious-based bigotry. Preacher I Play is pretty much iconic of all the hellfire and brimstone preachers who uh, preach that uh, God hates gays. There's so many people who have been damaged by the church by the words of politicians, by the words of preachers. Across the country in churches, there are 10-year-old boys and girls sitting in pews, being told that who they are is a sin that will send them to hell. And there are parents with 15-year-old adolescents telling them the same thing, which means that we end up with 20-year-old young men and women that no matter how much as a society, we tell them that who they are is beautiful and wonderful, the echo of that preacher or that parent saying that you are wrong and who you are is wrong stays with them and can stay with them long into life. I got a phone call that one of my very good friends, Kendall Moore, had hung himself. Kendall loved Southern Baptist sissies because he was one of those boys. He was raised in the church in Mississippi. But a few days before his suicide, he spoke to his mother and she said, you have never been anything but a disappointment to us that kind of intolerance, the, the fact that it's still going on today's world is maddening to me. And I'm not going to sit back, I'm going to stand up and I'm going to fight for what I believe in. There's a wonderful line in Southern Baptist Sissies where one of the boys says to the other one, as, as they look around the Baptist church uh, where they grew up, and they, they say it was in these pews that we learned to hate ourselves. And that's my story. Sissies is the closest piece to my heart. It is my story. I am a piece of all of those sissies. I had the great pleasure of creating the roles of the three different mothers in Southern Baptist sissies. Mother of a drag queen, the mother of a man who's questioning everything that he hears in church on Sunday, and um, a very troubled young man who prays every day for God to take it away. So many kids, so many teens, so many adults who are born gay, who are gay, raised in the church, feel less than. And people that are alone and feel different and have no one to talk to um, and feel shame and guilt can often choose a, a different path with dealing with, with that thing, which is what leads me to the next point um, of of the subject of suicide, which I think is so terribly, tragically present, particularly in our young gay males. There have been such a rash of suicides lately in the last couple of years from bullying, from just self-loathing and the teachings of the church. I would like to return to these boys in Dallas, Texas because of Billy Lucas, because of Seth Walsh, Tyler Clemente. Brandon Elizaris and so many more who have taken their lives because if this piece can save one or two then we've done our job. So I think it's important piece, um, it's timely, um, it's wildly funny um, and yet it's very 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 poignant. And I'm glad that we're doing it now because 
young men need to know that they don't need to be troubled. There's nothing wrong with them, just the way they are. It's a story about love and acceptance and, and overcoming the things that are put in our path that create so much distress for all of our young boys and girls who happen to come out as gay. I know from the letters that Dal got and the fans, we were saving lives because it's one of those life-changing opportunities. Um, so there's hope there, and I think that's what's so important is to give people hope. We need your help. I, I, it's hard to make movies these days, and it's certainly hard to make a movie that is gay-themed, but this is important. And we have found a way to tell this story again, and it's going to be magical. Please help us. If you donate a lot of money, that's awesome. If you can donate a little bit of money, that's just as awesome. But if you donate a lot, we'll probably like you more. Get in your pocketbooks. This is one needs to go. Savior, Thank you.